the point is you throw burritos. Welcome back to the Girl Gun London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and American citizen, and today I am reacting to some really bizarre American products. I'm also saying to those of you who watch regularly, hi, it's been a minute. And by a minute, I mean like a month. I didn't realize it had been a month, but I looked back and it has been about a month since I've posted. So those of you who are not watching in real time, Maybe I haven't been gone at all. Maybe you just watched 10 of my videos and here I am again. Um, the reason for my absence from the YouTube community was um, I was away. I was in America and also in uh, Gran Canaria for our anniversary, which is one of the Canary Islands where basically I feel like every British person takes a holiday to. So um did that and, but anyway here we are i've also had a little bit of a rearrange of my office um hence why you now have this blank wall behind you but i've got this picture now framed it's gonna go we're gonna have some backgrounds um but just not right now okay so as i said in this video i thought I would show you some of the hilarious products that I found in America. Um, I am not so British that I actually judge these products because I want most of them, um, but I am British enough to realize that these are very American products. So here we go. Okay, the first thing on my list is this Hershey's S'mores Maker. Why is this American? Number one, Americans love s'mores. Number two, Americans love Hershey's. Number three, only Americans would come up with a product that is meant to help you make something that is already incredibly easy to make. Um, I'm looking at these on my phone, but I'll, I'll post them up here. I don't really understand exactly how this works, actually. I think you simply put the ingredients in and then you smush it down with this thing I, I do want to try it out, but I don't really understand the point. It just seems like it would make it more complicated, but it was only $5. So honestly, should have bought it. Okay, the next thing I found was this cornhole set. And I mentioned cornhole in another video as a lawn game that Americans love. And I don't think we call them lawn games, yard games. I don't know. Um, cornhole is where you throw these bean bags and try and get them in the hole. Again, very popular. I haven't seen it anywhere in the UK, but if you go to the US and like you go to maybe a restaurant with an outdoor space, like a casual kind of bar restaurant place, they might have cornhole there um, or people might just have them kind of just scattered all over. Where did I see one recently in the US? I can't, where was I? I can't remember exactly. It was maybe at a hotel or something, but cornhole, very popular American game. Okay, the next thing I found were these emoji golf balls. And the reason I included them as an American product was because I don't think a British golfer would ever be caught with any of these. Um, and it is a very American concept to be like, you know what we should do to a regular golf ball? We should just make it 10 times extra and more in your face. There's no practical need to have a, a smiling emoji as your golf ball, but leave it to the Americans. We, we will figure out a way to make it more fun, more in your face, more colorful, more just, just more. We'll figure out a way. Okay, the next thing on my list is this Razor scooter that I saw. Um, I think I included it because again, it couldn't just be like a regular scooter. This one is party pop, which means it has pop and glow lights. So obviously the American scooters have to have an additional feature to them. I'm Maybe it sings to you. I don't think so, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I also included this because scootering in childhood in the UK versus the US does seem a little bit different. So we grew up um, wanting scooters when we were kind of like late elementary slash middle school age. Um, it was really to like, you'd try and do tricks. You could 
press on the back wheel and do like a wheelie. Um, you try to jump over the gutter, which at one point definitely landed me like face first on the ground with my dad running to me down the driveway because I had tried to jump over a gutter and it didn't go well. Um, I typically see scooters here in the UK um, as something that younger kids use, particularly like when you don't want your kid to slow you down on your walk. They'll have a scooter so they can kind of go at normal adult walking pace and it's just more fun by scootering. But I tend to see kids maybe like three to seven use scooters here in the UK. When I was growing up in the US, it was definitely something like late elementary. So that would be like 11 to maybe like 13 is when you thought it was cool to scooter. Um, comment below, comment below British people and American people and people from all over the world. Did you have a scooter? At what age? Do people you know have scooters? Do they sing? Do they light up? Let me know. Okay, the next thing I found was this first washer dryer. I don't know why anybody would need a first washer dryer. I also feel like washer dryer is a very American term, um, but it comes with 10 laundry accessories. So it's got, what does it have? Three baskets, two towels, two socks, two shirts, shorts, and a bottle of detergent. I don't know. I just thought this, they might have one here. They probably do. I just thought this was a, um, a funny, toy to have and also the term washer dryer made this seem very American. Okay, the next American product I found that I have to share with you is this giant inflatable pizza because what is more American than floating on a piece of pizza in the sun? I don't think, I would say I don't think anything, but I did see a lot of British people with pool floats in Gran Canaria. Um, but the fact that it's a pizza float to me makes it pretty American. Okay, the next thing on my list was this a bunch of balloons water slide wipeout. Only at Target. Very American. Um, I have not encountered as many water slides in the UK as I used to in the States. Um, I am a big fan of water slides. These were a huge staple in my childhood. And again, we couldn't just have like a regular water slide for your backyard we have to have the bunch of balloons water slide. So it has to have self sealing water balloons as part of it. We can't, we, I tend to find in the UK, if they were going to sell a water slide, it would be a water slide and function as a water slide. And the feature would be that it was a water slide. Americans are like, that's not good enough. We need a hundred water balloons at the end waiting for you. Okay, the next thing I found was this Campfire S'mores playset. I told you Americans love s'mores, so much so that there is a literal playset to pretend like you're making s'mores. It looks like they have little um, like fabric marshmallows, like fake sticks to use. I just, 23 pieces, ages three to six. So you, can pretend to be making campfire s'mores and prepare yourself to enjoy your future s'mores maker as an adult, I guess. This is this is the gateway drug to that. Okay, the next thing on my list uh, was a summer camp game. And I included this as a very American product because summer camp is not a super popular concept in the UK, not in the sleepaway style camp that you see in this image. Um, so I instantly saw Summer camp game, very American. Uh, $24.99, this was also at Target. Um, and I don't know how the game is actually played. It doesn't really say, but s'mores and summer camp are very American things. Aha, the next one. It's a Taco Bell card game. Can you imagine if there was a card game? What's a popular like Greg's, like a Greg's card game. Um, that is essentially what this is. So again, I've never played the Taco Bell card game, but I love the fact that it exists. This is again, the most American thing I've ever seen, making a card game out of a fast food place. Um, 
I might have to get this, do it as a giveaway to one of you lovely people who I'm sure want it. Um, card game about tacos and fast food. Very American. Okay, the next thing I found, you know what? I think I've actually, did I see this in the UK? I'm not sure. Um, it's called Throw Throw Burrito. And the point is you throw burritos at each other. I cannot imagine going to somebody's house in the UK. They've invited me over for dinner and games and them pulling out throw throw burrito. I can't imagine most people I know in the UK throwing burritos for fun. But I can think of so many people in America I know who would love this game. And if I got invited to an American's house for dinner and they said, we're gonna throw some burritos now, I would be like, of course we are. Another day in the USA. Um, also, I took a picture of its uh, sister, Throw Throw Avocado. You can combine it with Throw Throw Burrito. Has anybody seen these games before? Has anyone played them? Do they exist in the UK? Can you imagine the night before her Jubilee, the queen playing Throw Throw Avocado? Um, I don't think so, but I've been wrong before. So maybe this will be the next um, thing to hit the British market. Also, Throw Throw Burrito the extreme outdoor edition. So Americans couldn't just have throw throw burrito. We're like, you know what? We're gonna make a game about throwing burritos at each other, but that's not enough. We have to take it to the next level and have the extreme outdoor edition. It includes huge inflatable burritos. The phrase huge inflatable burritos has never been uttered in the UK until now. I guarantee that. It's probably been said millions of times in the US. God bless America. The next thing I found was Breathe With Me Barbie, Yoga Barbie with five guided meditations. $50? I'm not paying $50 for Yoga Barbie. Seems expensive. Um. Again, <laughs> I I love Barbie. I had a couple Barbies. I think Barbie is a very iconic American brand. Um, and I just like the fact that now she's been through the pandemic. Life is hard, potentially going into a recession, and she's doing her yoga. Um, and I just, the whole thing just seemed, again, very American to me. But maybe Yoga Barbie exists here in the UK. I'll, I don't think so, but I'll look it up after this video. Okay, the next thing on my list was this book by someone named Devon Franklin. Never heard of him. Uh, he looks very happy walking on the beach. His book is 30% off, so I don't know what that tells you. But it's called Live Free. Exceed your highest expectations. If that is not the most American phrase I've ever heard, um, it is very apparent when you are in the U.S. versus being in the U.K., that sort of naive American optimism is alive and well. Um, and it's just that like over the top enthusiasm, exceed your highest expectations. Um, I feel like Brits are more realist <laughs> and maybe a book like this wouldn't be front and center here in the UK. So when I saw this, this man looking so happy, live free, exceed your highest expectations, I thought that is a very American looking book. The next thing I found has to do with the outdoors. It is this extra large charcoal because you couldn't be satisfied with regular charcoal. You have to make sure that your charcoal is extra large, the largest on the street. So when people come over to your barbecues, you're like, check out my charcoal, extra large. I have never seen extra large charcoal in the UK. Um, it's just, I, I saw this and I thought, again, very American. The next thing is also large, offensively large is their branding, offensively large lip balm. I have never seen anything more than regular sized lip balm here in the UK. So as soon as I saw offensively large lip balm, I knew that I was in America. What does it say? Won't, oh, it's four times bigger than dainty lip balms. I mean, this thing, I. Okay, you can kind of see, I think that's my hand in this picture versus the lip balm. It looks, it does look giant. Um, apparently it won't melt in your pocket um, and it's not intended for skinny jeans. Um, 
Also, it says on here, made in the USA. Americans love that. We love when things are made in the USA. Um, and also, it says a portion of proceeds benefits US veterans. This is a whole entirely separate video about the military in both countries, but supporting veterans and supporting the troops is something that for many Americans is a very important part of life. So their branding here of uh, benefiting US veterans will definitely do them well. In the UK, I haven't really ever seen um, something like this, like a commercial product um, supporting veterans of the British armed forces. It's just different cultures, not saying that the British do not support their military, but I'll jump into that in another video. For now, just enjoy this offensively large lip balm. Okay, the next thing I found was a Mr. Coffee iced, iced coffee in minutes. But I'm not, is this an actual thing or is this a toy? Okay, I think this is an actual thing. I like that their thing says save $800 on the front by making iced coffee at home. Um, a single served iced coffee maker. Iced coffee is on this list. A, because it's like a single serve convenience product, um, which is seems very American, but also iced coffee is a relatively American concept that many, many people in America will enjoy. It's uh, enjoyed here by some, but not many. Um, and I just thought the branding was funny. Rapid Chill Brewing. Um, yeah, so that was the next thing on my list. And I think that brings us to the end of these products and this video. Comment below which of these products seems the most American to you. Like I said, I am kind of forever caught in between two worlds now where I can identify which things British people would find very American and I find very American, but I definitely am gonna buy the uh, baking Play-Doh kit for my nephew because it looks amazing. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. I will be back to you next time with more UK versus US uh, videos and lifestyle here in the UK. But until then, have a great Jubilee experience and I will see you next time.